Okay, here we go. It is one more time. Some art time with uh, Mr. Payne here, uh, Insane Payne. We're going to have some fun by creating a color wheel today. Um, just using a few tools here. I've got a ruler, uh, just a mechanical pencil, a uh, black pen, uh, an eraser, a compass, and a bottle cap because that bottle cap gets that really easy uh, circle that we're going to use to get the final uh, circles for the colors. All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we are going to have to measure this paper off. So I've got a ruler here. Now, very important when you look at a ruler, you're going to want to find what is known as the zero point. So right here, that is the zero point for the ruler. So that is going to tell us where we want to put on the edge of the paper. So zero and I come all the way down to Right here, mine says 12, so I know the halfway point is going to be six inches. Six inches right there. Now, I'm gonna go, what I do on one side, I'm gonna do on the other side, double check. Six inches, 12, boom, perfect. And I'm gonna draw a line straight across that page. And because I'm doing it in pencil, I can always erase this. I'm drawing really heavy. So that way it shows up on the camera. But I want you guys to draw very, very light. Remember the old rule. Draw light till you get it right. All right, so let's find the halfway point of this paper. Once again, I go back uh, on the zero point of my ruler. Verify, and it says nine. So we know that four and a half plus four and a half is going to equal nine. So I'm going to hit the four and a half point right here. What I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. Four and a half right there. And now I draw a line straight down the middle. And this should give me the total division point of my paper. Four and a half and six. All right, so here we go. Starting with my compass. I'm going to open up my compass by gently loosening just a little bit so this opens freely. And I'm going to go to the 5 mark, which is actually right between the 4 and the 6. All right, the 4 and the 6. And tighten it down just a little bit. Now, when I'm using a compass, I want to make sure that the point end stays stationary on that middle part. So rather than trying to move the paper around, I'm just going to hold this, and I might move my hand around just slightly. So I change my hand position and I go around to get a nice circumference, a nice circle of that. There we go. Now, the color wheel has 12 sections, all right, because it's got three primaries, three secondaries, and then six intermediate. So I'm going to use, not change my compass, don't change anything. I'm just going to hit each corner where I was. And that way I'm going to get a nice arc. Now, if I wanted to arc this all the way across, I could. I don't need to, though. There's no point in that. That just means more I got to erase. So I'm just going to go where I cross over the circle, the original circle I did. So this could still be a half circle, but I'm just going to cross over those, those lines that I did that on. Now, what I do here, I'm going to do on the bottom, on the far left, and on the top. All right, here we go. Place it there, not opening my compass up, going all the way across, but not actually drawing. And every time a line crosses over a line, it creates a point. So I'm going to go around the whole circle that I've done. Cross over, circle, 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 and cross over. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and end up pretty much back where I started. Now, let's just double check because I want to like to make sure I count right. So I've got one at the top, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points. Or if you want to think of it like a clock, you can 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and then right back to 12. All right, so now what I want us to do, now that we've divided our circle into 12 little sections, I'm gonna use my ruler 
to actually dissect it. All right. So I got to find where that line crossed over. There's one here and there's one over here. So now I'm going to put my line, line up my ruler and my points. And I'm just going to draw a line straight through. Remember, I'm drawing heavy so it shows up on the camera, but you guys really need to draw light, okay? Remember the old, the old saying, draw light till you get it right. And here we go, one more time, trying to go through the middle point. Looks like I got off a little bit, but we're just gonna keep going through. All these lines should go through the middle because remember, these are complementary colors. So if I start drawing here and I'm going to this point, and I notice that that line is not going to go through the middle of my color wheel, then I have intersected somewhere wrong. All right, here we go. And I should have one more to go. Just one more. And bam. All right, now I've divided my piece into 12 sections. It's like a big pizza pie. And so now what I'm going to use is my little uh, cap here, which could come off, this came off a water bottle, but you can use a you know, pop bottle or anything like that, uh, just as long as it fits, and you can do a circle for each one going all the way around, all right? So here we go, kind of putting at the top, and the reason why I did my circle kind of small is so I could just kind of roll it along the outside of the edge, and I'm just gonna try and get it in the middle. So wherever the middle of my cap is, that's how I want it to line up on my lines. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's okay. We're just going to keep pushing ahead. Here we go. Hold and drawing my circle around. One. Perfect. Now I'm just going to keep going around to try and get all my circles, okay? I'm going to speed it up a little. All right, so now I've got all my little circles done. 12 through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and back to 12 again. So we've got these basic things kind of set up. Uh, remember, if you're drawing light, you can always erase all this stuff really easily after you go back over with a nice black pen to get a nice tight line. But here's what I like to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just trace over the whole thing and then make it super jet black and then from there uh, I'll erase everything and then I will line up where I want my primaries and my secondaries. All right, now I've got kind of everything cleaned up a little bit. Now I know where my lines are. I'm gonna use an eraser and just get rid of some of these pencil lines. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and set this up for my color wheel. I'm going to label stuff in pencil so I can always change it later if I make a mistake. Starting with red, yellow, and blue. Those are my primaries. So with my primary colors, I like to have a nice, solid, straight line. So I can still see where my angles like lined up. So I'm going to use a nice pen to create that triangle right there. Primaries. These are the colors that make all the other colors. So red and yellow is going to make orange. Yellow and blue is gonna intersect here and make green. And red and blue together is going to make violet. So this is my secondary triangle. <clears throat> when I make my secondary triangle, I like to use a dotted line just to kind of separate them a little.
and there I go. So I'm going to finish labeling my color wheel and <clears throat> then from maybe the next video I'll do some watercolor. Red and green. <clears throat> Red and green are complementaries, but yellow and green is what we're going to name this color right here. Yellow green, blue green, blue violet, because we're going to start with our primary color name first. Red violet, red orange, and then finally yellow orange. So at this point now, I've got an entire color wheel set up and ready to go. And it looks amazing. Maybe you might want to try something a little different. If you do, let me know. I'd love to see what you've got. And hey, let's get creative.